Hello and welcome to the Very Dairy Challenge, brought to you by a partnership of MacGyver's Grant Public Library, UTTSU Extension Dyer County, and Dyer County 4-H. Today we're going to read The Stinky Cheese Man and Other Fairly Stupid Tales. This book is written by John Siska and Lane Smith. It is published by Viking Press. This book has a lot of really interesting things, like where the end page should be. It starts a story, and then it tells you where the title page is, with the big letters like that. And then the table of contents just gets lost and, and ends up falling in on some of the characters in one of the stories. It's pretty funny. It's also pretty long, and it's really hard for us to have a video that long to go up on our YouTube channel. So today we're just going to read The Stinky Cheese Man, and then there'll also be a couple little partial ones that will show you some of the other stories as well. This is called The Stinky Cheese Man. Once upon a time there was a little old woman and a little old man who lived together in a little old house. They were lonely, so the little old lady decided to make a man out of stinky cheese. She gave him a piece of bacon for a mouth and two olives for eyes and put him in the oven to cook. And there is a picture of their house way back in the forest by themselves. And there is a picture of the stinky cheese man. Looks like they already took a little bite out of his head. When she opened the oven to see if he was done, the smell knocked her back. Shoo, she said, what is that terrible smell? She cried, and the stinky cheese man hopped out of the oven and ran out the door calling, run, 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 fast as you can, you can't catch me, I'm the stinky cheese man. The little old lady and the little old man sniffed the air. I'm not really very hungry, said the little old man. I'm not really all that lonely, said the little old lady. So they didn't chase the stinky cheese man. The stinky cheese man ran and ran until he met a cow eating grass in a field. Wow, what is that awful smell, said the cow. There he is running. Can you see the smells going around him? The stinky cheese man said, I've run away from a little old lady and a little old man, and I can run away from you too, I can. Run, 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 fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the stinky cheese man. The cow gave another sniff and said, I bet you could give someone two or three stomach aches. So I think I'll just eat weeds. So the cow didn't chase the stinky cheese man either, and the stinky cheese man ran and ran until he met some kids playing outside of school. There's the cow. What do you have? What does the cow think about that stinky cheese man? <laughs> Gross, said a little girl. What's that nasty smell? I've run away from a little old lady and a little old man and a cow, and I can run away from you too, I can. Run, 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 fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the stinky cheese man. A little boy looked up, sniffed the air, and said, If we can catch him, our teacher will probably make us eat him, so let's get out of here. So the kids didn't chase the stinky cheese man either. There's another picture. Can you see the boy and the girl in there? By and by, the stinky cheese man came to a river with no bridge. How will I ever cross the river? It's too big to jump, and if I try to swim across, I'll probably fall apart. Said you know who. Just in the sly fox who shows up in a lot of stories like these, poked his head out of the bushes. Why, just hop on my back and I'll carry you across, stinky cheese man. How do I know you won't eat me? Trust me, said the fox. So the stinky cheese man hopped on the fox's back. The fox swam to the middle of the river and said, Oh, man, what is that funky smell? The fox coughed gagged and sneezed and the stinky cheese man flew off his back and into the river where he fell apart the end that is the last story in that book and there we go the end did you like that story would you like to create a story of your own that is a variation of a fairy tale Maybe it'll be a silly story. Maybe it'll be a funny story. Would you like to do that? We have another video that will have a, a, an activity for you so that you can create your own Stinky Cheese Man or your own version of Jack and the Beanstalk or your own version of Cinderella. And you can also watch the other videos that we'll have up that will that we'll share some of the rest of the stories in this book. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.